here's how you load data into a columnar table. You actually create a no PI table that's a staging table. As you can see here, it's called EMP staging new primary index. Then you create a columnar table, and I'm going to call this EMP columnar. Of course, it's got no primary index, partition by column. And then you load to the no PI table, and once you get it there, you do an insert select into the columnar table. Insert into EMP columnar, select asterisk from EMP staging, data is loaded. One of the great things about a columnar design is it compresses stuff like nothing you've ever seen. A lot of compression. Tables are much smaller based on a wide variety of different compression algorithms that Teradata decides on the fly which will be best based on the data that I'm seeing. So what I want you to notice here is that I've got no auto compress on all of these columns because I said, listen, that compression is going to take time. I don't have time. I don't want you to do your magic compression. No auto compress. You don't say it, it's going to do auto. If you do, it will not. Auto compress in columnar tables. Compressed unless no auto compress stated every time. Teradata uses many different compression techniques. Teradata will decide not to compress some partitions. Decompression is automatic when columns are retrieved. Compression is at its best for single column partitions. There is overhead in deciding the best compression techniques. There's no overhead with no auto compress in the create statement. Here's just some of the techniques. They've got a trim compression. It compresses leading zeros and trailing spaces. That reduces a lot of space. They've got null compression to compress null values. Local dictionary compression is a little similar to multi-value compression where they can say, oh, the state's California, we'll do all of the compression for all California states. Run length encoding compression will have values only once and then maintain an associated count. Unicode to UTF-8 compression for all Unicode two-byte characters that are ASCII, so only one byte was really needed. And a delta on mean compression will get the mean or average and store minus one, minus two, plus three to just show the difference. Those are some of the compression techniques that Teradata will decide upon on columnar tables when you load the data. When do you use columnar tables? When queries access varying columns or column subsets. The WHERE clause is quite selective. Ad hoc queries are an excellent candidate and data analytics are also a perfect choice. Do not use these if queries will run on data that is being updated or deleted a lot. Queries need to be tactical, sub-second, OLTP type queries, or a query that is CPU bound. This lesson is brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Serving the data warehousing needs of the world for 20 years. Check out coughingdw.com for more information.